I'm the Director of Health and Safety here at H2O Innovation. Uh, I came on to H2O Innovation about two years ago and part of our challenges right then was trying to get our health and safety program rolling and off the ground. And big element for that for us has been getting SOSPIS in place and using it to help our dispersed workforce get uh, access to our health and safety tools and also make anything they sure anything they find in the field comes back to us. But what I found very interesting about SOSPIS is that its focus for the app, at least what I looked at as the focus for the app or the big selling point was, is that the focus was on the uh, individual user experience, basically the mobile app and the accessibility through the mobile app, which I always look at as being probably the main uh, benefit to SOSPIS is that it was really looking to make it easy for the frontline users, the people out in the field to use the system and get information into the tool. Um, as a health and safety professional, um, we often think that we're the most important people in the process and that we need to be able to do all sorts of graphs and other types of things, but none of that matters unless we can get the information into the tool to start with. Uh, where SOSPIS has really put their focus is on that end user experience and making sure it's as easy as possible to do that. Uh, I think we're lucky here at H2 Innovation that we started working with SOSPIS who had a variety of functionality associated with it. And in the last year, um, a lot of our request to SOSPIS to increase functionality, um, you guys have been very receptive to that. And one of the big requests for us was trying to get the LMS or training in the system as well. So that was something that we had asked uh, last year. And we were one of the early adopters of the last platform and the updates that came out in, I think, June or January is when there was a major update to change that one as well that we've been on with us from that time there. That was a big boon for us. So we did have a third party provider that was providing us with training content. Uh, their platform was a little bit slow, difficult to use. Here, as we centralized everything onto the um, SOSPIS platform, we were also to bring in content from other providers as well so we can host various content there. One of the benefits of SOSPIS is that all of the supervisors can bring up who's done which training, and we can even pull up some of the training certificates when we've loaded them into the system for those workers. So if anybody were to come on site or if we've gone to a customer site and they're asking for a copy of our records, uh, a lot of our workers who have their SOSPIS on their phone can pull that right up and start showing them their certifications. Um, so that's helped us out in a lot of cases and just being fast to be able to say, yes, we've got everything we need, um, let's start work. Um, from the other perspective, one of the big updates that came in the last quarter was access to actually launch the training from mobile devices. The idea being that as we had people use it for training, now that they're accessing the tool on a regular basis because they need to do it for training, they were also remembering or recognizing to do some extra safety observations when they came in there. And we went from two years ago, potentially having less than 100 observations in the year to nowadays we're seeing 4,000 to 5,000 in a year for a group of about 1,000 people. And we encourage people to report uh, anything and everything that they can. Uh, we certainly encourage positive observations as well because that helps us demonstrate that we are doing stuff the right way. And potentially if something does come up and we were to have a regulator come in, we could at least provide for them and say, yeah, Normally we have done this and here's the examples of it with pictures to say that we do this the right way. Um, but we also capture some of our substandard conditions and some of our behaviors that need to be adjusted. Um, our key focus has been if we can track it, if we know that it's in the system and we are keeping ourselves accountable for making sure that reports are going in as well as making sure that reports are getting closed, that we are gonna be pushing towards continuous improvement. So as people were seeing that items they were putting into the system were getting resolved and that we were holding ourselves accountable to that in the system, that it drives that quality perspective that we can track and see what's still open, that we can assign tasks to people, that we can get owners and due dates associated with items, uh, really was a tool that historically we perchance had used various other applications, be it Microsoft products in the tasks or Teams or other areas to try and track these things. But this tool provided us with a lot of that one central spot that really helped us out and move the needle on what we were doing. We are a company that has people in both Canada, US, uh, Chile, Spain, France, 
Uh, one of the big things for us was being able to manage multiple languages. Um, I know that Sospis has been, we didn't ask for all the features, but you guys have certainly been rolling out a number of features on language. For the trainer, you guys helped us out with being able to host multiple language content and making that a little bit more streamlined for the staff so that when they open courses, it opened in their language of choice. Uh, items like that that have been great for us because it makes our end user experience easier. And when it's easier, they're more likely to do it. We typically put together our help desk tickets. And usually if it's something of interest or something really big that we've asked for, a lot of times it will be Sauspice that reaches out to us and says, hey Rob, can we set up a 30 minute call to go over this request you have so that we can get a better understanding of it. We think that we could get there. Um, the other thing that's been very supportive of them is that um, I know that the team there and Brian and Jonathan there are the two that I deal with most frequently. They get excited when they know that a release is coming up and they're like, oh, Rob's going to really like this because we've got like six of the, the top 10 features he was looking for in this release. Um, so they'll try and set it up for the afternoon and be like, all right, Rob, we've got something to show you. Uh, and I'm like, that's great. We'll get those six off the list and then I'll move six from uh, the bottom right up to the top 10 again. And they're like, oh yeah, he's going to ask for more now that we've got stuff done. But they always rise to that challenge and they accept that. And they're like, yep, he's probably asking reasonable things. Uh, we'll put that onto the to-do list for the next quarter here. And we'll make sure that the guys who just thought that they could take a break, they get a little information that they've got a few more things to sort out. <laughs> the way I've always looked at it is that a lot of people take a look at software and they're like, what can I get from outputs from it? Uh, I tend to ask people to look at it from the opposite way around. The only way you can get an output from the system is if you have the information or data going into the system. Um, so my recommendation would be to look at the system to see what's going to be the easiest to make sure that people are going to use the system and get data into it. And then at, as the data is in the system, you have a lot more options on what you can do to get information out of it. So my key has always been, how do we get more into the tools so that we have more to deal with, more to investigate? Uh, if we come up with issues, let's extract that data and then we can look at it a little bit differently while Sospis develops the next analytical screen to show this to us in a different way. Um, so that's always been my encouragement is look at how you can get it, make it easiest for other people to use the tool.